two gecko drives arrived, the um, servo drives, and um, I'm going to mount them on a heat sink now. What I did is I bought some of this uh, Wakefield the thermal joint compound that's supposed to help transfer the heat. So I'm just going to take and spread a little bit of that on the back of each one to give me a good uh, a good uh, thermal transfer to the heat sink. Hopefully I'm give them a little better life. So what I do is I'll put that on there and then I'm just going to mount these in place. And screw them down and put the heat sink back into the tool. I got the um, first servo up on and on the gecko. It seems to be pretty good. A little bit more tuning to tighten it up, but I guess I'll head on to the next one now. So let's just run a little bit of G-code here. And, uh... Okay, it's running on your G-code now. The servo is pretty well tuned. The next thing I have to do is uh, figure out what I'm going to do for the Z-axis. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with another servo drive or maybe just uh, go a little cheaper and try a, a, one of those cheap Chinese steppers and drives off of uh, Amazon. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.